Blau, today I'm here with a new video and today it is time for yet another first impression. And I have a little basket here at home. I don't know if it is the basket of fun, the basket of shame, the basket of... I don't know. I have at least a basket where I put all the palettes that I'm going to do a first impression of. And right now it is seven palettes and it looks like this so these are just the palettes I have at home that I haven't tried yet and I am going to choose one today and I think I know what I want to do maybe I can show you and you can tell me what you want to see next I have the mint to be from Colourpop I also have these are a little bit dirty the cloud dye from Colourpop all the free can't remember the name of them all but like the free tie dye all these free i have and then and then the last one i have from Colourpop it's the california love and this i bought because i read that this was like a dupe for melt rust I have this one and then I have two um, palettes from a Swedish brand that is called Gloss Gods. They look like this. I think I've talked about this one in one video. Things I want to like my current wish list. I think I talked about this one but this is from a Swedish brand that is made in collaboration with two different Swedish influencers. And the first one is them. I don't know if this is still available. This is like light rainbow palette. And the one that I am going to use today because I have been so excited is this one. This is, can you see? It is Touch Me. And this is in collaboration with Spindelsven. A beauty blogger that I have been following for couple of years I don't know how many years she did this together with gloss cards and first of all I love the palette you don't see shit here I love the palette it's gold lettering and it's black and it's like not typical cardboard I just really like it and it looks like this so this is like a little darker rainbow palette and I'm going to use this today because I have been so excited. I missed this the first launch. I bought it on the second one. So yeah. I'm using this today. So if you want to see. Or just tell me. Which of the palettes you want to see me use next. And I hate YouTube for taking away this like. Card where you could vote. I don't know why they did that. So yeah. I can leave the palettes down in the description. If you don't remember. Which palettes it was. So okay, I'm going to prime my eyes and then we get started. So it's time to jump into the Touch Me palette. And while I'm recording this, this palette is still available. So I will leave it down in the description. It is a Swedish indie brand. The, this palette is cruelty free and we, vegan, vegan. And they ship international. Yeah. And don't know how much it costs or anything, but they do. And I think they ship to the entire world. Might not now during the pandemic, but in normal cases. So, the Touch Me palette. This is nine pants and it has only three matte shadows. So, the green one and these two. And I'm actually... I think I want to do something more red-ish. But I think I want to go in with... Uh, this one in my crease and then take this one and this one on my lid. I don't know. We will see. And this is actually the first time I test out Gloss God's eyeshadows. I have had two highlighters from them. I like those. So, yeah. Okay, this was might a little bit darker than I expected it. And have I swatched anything? No. Because... Do I usually do that? No. Okay, so a little bit more 
pink than I expected it to be. And I was just like, should I really do a video with this palette? Because might not all of you can get a hand of it because it is a limited edition. But as for right now when I'm recording, it's still available. But I have... I can't remember, but someone commented on a video where I talked about... I think it was eight limited edition palettes I had that... Some of you just want to see me do a makeup and not like own the palette that I use. So I want to use this. And I know that for like myself, I not only watch people doing things with palettes because I want to palette. Sometimes I just watch people because I like them. And now the little crazy pants is here. So I'm going to go in with this one this looks really cool in the pan so i really hope it looks as cool on the eyes i don't know what kind of color it is if it's more like maybe brownish yeah, a little bit more of brownish what is she doing we have noticed this noticed that with Astrid and I think it's like that often with cats that are deaf deaf you know I have a hard time and somebody really tried to help me to pronounce it but I can't remember it deaf and uh, she like haunts everything is if she sees her own shadow, she wants to kill it. And sometimes that is a little bit annoying because you can't like have anything that casts a shadow. She's like going crazy. And I guess that's what's going on right now. Because the sun is out and it is a lot of shadows. Okay, I really like this one as well. The only thing that I'm feeling I'm used to work with like I really have to pack this on and I'm used to work with other more like pigmented eyeshadow palettes and I've done something stupid I have taken my Tamaguchi's to life I don't know why I did it I'm just going to punch this one okay and now I'm going in with this one but I'm a little bit okay do you know what I'm going to swatch this because this is might like too too orangey because now I don't know what I want to do okay I swatched some of the shimmers they look like this I'm thinking about using this but I don't know if I want that kind of a light look but I don't think these will go with my crease so I actually think I will take this maybe I should have taken two different colors in my crease but it is what it is and now Astrid is in here and she really like folds me around because sometimes when she is asleep somewhere in the apartment and we leave the room and she wakes up <laughs> she's like the sound that she makes it feels like she thinks we have left her all alone and she just screams and screams and screams so we have to like go and get her because it sounds like she's panicking I didn't know I wasn't prepared for the f for this, but other than that, it's going good, and it feels good to be needed. So okay, I'm going in with this other shimmer shade, and this brush wasn't clean. So we will see now how this looks. This might be like a little bit too warm and too orange, but I think it will work. And I have like cat hair all over everything. And okay, 
I feel the same with this one as with the other shimmer. It is workable, but it's not like as easy as the shimmers I have used from like indie brands, other indie brands. This is not like super crazy pigmented. It works really good. It's like nothing wrong with this, but I have to go in more than once. And I know that Annette has talked about this. It's like, I am so hard to impress right now, it feels like. And I know if I have would been using this palette like one year ago, I would have been blown away. I know that deep inside. But at the same time now, I have tested so, so many different indie brands. I have tested so much more eyeshadows. But yeah. Nothing wrong with it. It's just a little bit different. And I think this might be good for someone that hasn't played with super much crazy colored, super pigmented shadows. So maybe for like more like a normal makeup user. I'm not saying that I am super good with makeup, but I have tried a lot and it is some difference to use um, like pressed pigments and stuff. But the, okay, I don't know how to say this, but it's nothing wrong with this palette at all. It is just that I am used to use more like pressed pigments, I guess, that is a little bit more opaque from the start, but I have nothing to complain about. These blend so good, they look really good, and it is easy to make them go together, so like the blend is easy to fix. I can blend them up to my crease, but it's just... Maybe it's just a little bit more beginner friendly, I don't know, and now I don't know about this look. I think I need my eyebrows on. So I'm just going in with the brush that I took in my crease and just take it over here just to blend a little bit. Okay, I actually think I like this. This is dark, but it's not like super dark, but it's dark. So okay, I'm going to take away attack while... Take away the fallouts, fix my base and my brows, and then I come back. And I think I'll just do the same on my lower lash as well. So, let's go for the under eyes. And I still think I have cat hair somewhere in this eye, but like, I can't find it. So, it just has to be there. So, I think, yeah, I don't know, because I feel this is going to be like too... Or maybe I can take it under my eyes the whole way and smudge it out and then go in with this where I want it to be a little bit deeper. Yeah, I actually think I will do that. Okay, this might work good underneath my eye. And then I'm going in with this darker shimmer. I hope this will stick and not And not like fall on my face. Okay, this is working. Okay, so I think I'm done with eyeshadow. It just is not that good out here. Um. Yeah, I think I'm done, and I really do like this. So I will put something in my waterline, put on lipstick, mascara, then I come back and give you like my first impression of the, I can't do like this, this, of the Touch Me palette from Gloss Gods. So yeah, I will just fix the last things. So this is the finished look for my waterline. I used Vivid Bright's eyeliner from NYX in Snatched. For my lips, I used a new one. This is Dose of Colors. So yes, I finally bought Dose of Color and this is Extra Sauce. Debbie said that she thought I was going to love this and 
I really do. It's a little bit more like berry than I expected it, but that might be good because I can't have the same red all over again. So I like it and the look, I really do like it. I have used three shades, so I used this one and these two. And okay, what do I have to say about this palette? First of all, I love the front of it and I am happy to support one beauty blogger that I follow. I love to do that and also support a Swedish brand, an indie brand, a cruelty free brand and a vegan palette. I just love that. And I think that the palette, I think it's missing some like mattes, but what I can remember that Ida said, the creator of this palette, it is not like... You can use this together with the palette you already have, and I like that as well, but it's maybe not for me. Okay, I want to hold this up, but I don't know how. But yeah, I, I miss some more mattes. It's only three matte shadows, but the shimmers worked really good like to blend up in my crease. The only thing I have to say about the shimmers, the matte I used, it was really good, it was easy to blend, it was no problems at all. The shimmers I had to go in like more than once, but now like the pigment is really there, the color is really there, it's really opaque, it was blendable, so it's really good. But if you're used to work with maybe US Place shimmers or Kaleidos shimmers in the early Fuchsia and palettes or maybe like Menagerie, this might not be the same. But it's nothing wrong with them and I think this is really good for somebody that might just do neutrals and want to go into the more colorful world. I think this is a great palette. And the thing I love, this is like a rainbow palette, but it is a little bit darker. And I like that. And I really like the black background now when I see it. I can't remember if I said that I didn't like it. I think I did. But now when I see it in real life, I really like it. So I am happy with this palette. It feels great to be supportive to some Swedish people. Swedish people. I hope you get what I mean. So yeah, if you want to buy this, if it's still available, I will link it down in the description and they ship worldwide. Maybe not now during this pandemic. I don't know how the country you live in is with taking packages from Sweden. But yeah, I really like this look. I think it's a really good red look. Maybe I should have saved this for December. Oops. But yeah, I really hope you liked this video and if you're not subscribed to my channel, please do so you don't miss any of my videos and I hope I'll see you in the next one. Bye!